huge community yard sale today. I'm out here actually with dad. There's 90 houses participating and it is crazy. So we're gonna hit the yard sale, see if we can find a flip a line for a profit. What is that? That is from. Uh, That's from. If you're not buying that, I am. Oh. How much is he? Five bucks. I'm taking it. You can have it. Where's he is from? He part of that? Nah, he's no. from Dave and Buster. Just look in there. We got all kinds. You got a knife on you. Hold on. How much were you looking for these uh dollar a piece? Dollar a piece. We'll do that for a dollar a piece. Count one. I have no idea. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm counting eight of them. I'll give you 10 bucks for all we got eight, so I'll give you two extra bucks. I'll trade you one of these for that guy. No. Oh, okay. What do you got? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I really got played over here. Yeah, how you doing? Good. How you doing? I'll give you a little bit. You know I want to go. This is very nice. Brand new. Yeah, they go in the net. How much is Uh, two bucks. Two bucks? I'll take it for two bucks. Went back. Really? Yeah. Cascade Mountain Tech inflatable sleeping pad. Sounds cool. Your dad and I just saw these ducks from the road. Some ducks are good ducks. Some ducks, not so good ducks. Let's go see what they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they do. Some ducks are nice. I knew as soon as you pulled them. That one's good. You should walk in and look to see what I told you. 20, 30, 30, Did I buy the lamp from you? 15, you did. <laughs> and I had and that I'm not purple. selling it either. <laughs> <laughs> Which lamp was that? Oh, this looks nice. These are all, these were left by, I know, isn't it spectacular? These were all left by the previous owner. It looks like he just hand painted these. Hmm. And I don't know, they come from the 80s and the 90s. I don't know if they have any. You do 50 for all of them? 50. You see all the hunters see the ducks. Five dollars a piece. <laughs> How about 60? Sold. I'll buy them all for 60. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are worth yeah. it. <laughs> those are, you know they're worth it too. He's got good looking eyeballs. <laughs> Doesn't he? Good looking eyeballs. He's an eye guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got some good looking eyeballs there, duck. <laughs> all right there you go 60 bucks all right well beautiful. i appreciate it i almost bought your entire sale boy you yeah. sure you don't want that thing too Dude, i should take that home to kayla no no i'm saying put it in the yard you got enough stuff in your yard i seen your yard <laughs> hey pipe down yeah yards are nice <laughs> thank you happy birthday mm -hmm. step in front of you <laughs> yeah i see that <laughs> Wait, oh look are they cut those? Coleman. Yeah. It's only 25 cents. Yeah, I know. It's like a quarter. You can't buy much for a quarter now, dude. I yeah. want to buy that coffee pot for a quarter. Yeah, that ain't bad. Yeah. What is this thing? VCR Plus. So I got a little confused here. I thought this was a VHS Super. It's just a plus and it has a flip down thing. Just know that out there in the wild, there are VCRs out there that are called VCR Super or editors and they can be worth $800 to $1,000. I thought that's what this was, but turns out this thing only usually sells for parts for about 20 to 30 bucks. Another big one down here. I appreciate it. Look, right here, look. Kayla's gonna love this. She ain't here and I'm buying it. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Think I'm up to 13? All right. All right. All right, since Kayla's not here today, I'm going to buy every Coleman cooler I find. So Kayla, so far, look. I got one for three bucks. It's the personal 16. Needs just a little bit of cleaning, but that ain't bad. How much were your Keens? How much were these? Uh, yeah, all these are brand new, and those are all the designers. Uh, what, what, Ten dollars. Ten bucks. Yep. I'm doing for ten. 
85 bucks for the coach press. Got a pair of Kings though. Kings are pretty good. 10 bucks, but they're in super good condition with the original box. Original box is always way to go. How much were your Wii games? They were dollar a piece. Dollar a piece? Yeah. Two, three, three, four. How many are there? Uh, I got four right here. Okay. That'll work. Well, I might as well go ahead and just get this one too. Okay. And call it five. If you all saw that Alpha Plush at the top right hand corner, she's asking 15 bucks for it, but sometimes they can go if they have the voice box upwards of $50. Ah, ah just kidding. Nah, what just kidding. What kind? <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. The other day, the other disrespect day around here. <laughs> we're sitting down. Okay. Well, yeah, you could put also more pad in the back. They're, that's all I wear during the summer. Really? Yeah, they're nice. There you can hey, see everybody. Man, this, yeah. These people go sell the shoes. Yeah. yeah <laughs> they're the most nice. comfortable thing. Yeah. Know, sure. Worth thirty-five they get, bucks. They get flat. Yeah, they're they're new. They're sixty. Oh, yeah. All right, and they they are new, so yeah. You know that is. Uh, reads foot candles. Yeah, lunatics. Yeah, light foot candles. Um, it's a light meter. Light meter. Old fashioned light meter, yep. Yeah. Sure. sure. Would yeah. you do 20 bucks for both of them? Dry bags. Dry bags. Dry bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah look. On our that one there too? Yeah, those two. They're real, they're real nice bags. Totally, totally. Right. We traveled on the motorcycle many, many, many miles really? with those things. Yeah, because they're nice. We... That Wortley bag, I looked the other day, it's like $150 for that bag. Now. 146 This one? Yeah. All right, so these bags right here are called Ortlip, and he was right. They're very expensive. Be on the lookout. They're kind of unassuming looking, but some of them go as high as $300 used. Well, it's in my hand. <laughs> Yeah, needle points, needle points. Yeah, good. I'm big. That's the thing I bought at that one yard sale. Yeah. So, like. Yep. Needle point is on point. Look at that. That thing is. Not that I would use it, but that thing is neat. Uh huh. That's what we had. Some, some of them came and bought a whole bunch and put in their, in their like, man cave. Yeah. And them out on the wall. Yeah. You said they're only a dollar a piece? Uh huh. That thing, how much, were, how much were you asking for this? I want you 30, but off me a price. Man. That thing is, this one's a little sunbeam guy. I don't know how to sell them. How much were you looking for this one? I'll take five. Five? I'll let you have both of them for 25. That's actually what I was thinking in my brain. <laughs> I was wow. going to offer you 25, so I'll take them both for 25. For that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Back from the yard sales, let's go over some stuff. I know a lot of stuff wasn't picked up and we went to a ton of yard sales, but some days you'll just have that. But let's go over some of the cool stuff we picked up today. Canes, always gonna pick them up if they're in good condition for $10. These usually go between 25 and 30 bucks, but they're probably gonna be pretty fast sellers because I've noticed that if you have the original box, the shoes sell a lot better. The Sherpa Line shirt from Wrangler right here, got it for $2. This is easily gonna be a $20 bill. These right here are really cool. They're the insulators. They're not worth a ton of money. I paid 10 bucks for uh eight of them or nine of them one of them is heavily damaged i like these sell a little bit better for me than the clear ones i might just do an entire lot of these and that we'll see but these right here uh my dad i'll show you in the house what my dad does with these and it's mind-blowing so a lot of times we'll keep these and i'll show you what he does with them and they're really really cool then the weather station here this is from taylor instruments i've sold plenty of these before and i paid up because i've never seen one this big before it's got the eagle up top on the back of it, it's actually very heavy. On the back of it, it says Genuine Mahogany. So it's really, really nice. Like I said, I've never seen one. I paid uh, 25 bucks for this one and this one, I believe. And this one, I found it. Finally, it took me forever. I found a sole comp for like the best offer at 125 plus shipping. So I'm thinking I can probably get $100 or more for that plus shipping. And then usually the Sunbeam ones, go for about 10 to 20 bucks. So that's pretty good. Just know that there are a couple out there that go for a ton of money. Also, the wood wand right here, 
the old wood wand putter. If you ever see this thing, pick it up. It is, it sells very, very well. It's uh, all wood, the handle's wood. It's very easy to recognize. And this one right here goes for about 50 bucks. I didn't know exactly how much this was worth, but uh, that ain't too bad for a dollar. Now my ducks down here. My ducks, let me get them in a row real quick. <laughs> get it? Anyway, my ducks aren't worth a ton of money. I thought they were going to be worth good, but I do have a 1980s one in here that I found the exact same one that went for 60 bucks. I think it was this guy down here. I'm pretty sure it's him that he went for $60. So ducks are very difficult. Some of them go for a lot of money, but they, you really got to know what you're looking at. These are older ones. None of them are really marked on the bottom. That should have been a uh, sign of, hey, don't buy them. But I mean, they have the dates on them, so I don't know. But I'll try to sell them. He's got nice eyeballs, this one. So I think that I'm not going to lose any money because I really think that that one duck is worth about 60 bucks. The rest of them might be only worth about 5 to $10. This one does have a name on the bottom, and it's usually how it is. It's usually like burnt in or stamped in or something. So I think he might be also worth about 30 bucks. So maybe a double up, but this is a good learning lesson that uh, not all ducks are worth a ton of money. And I knew that, but I mean, look at him. Also, we just dance games. Be on the lookout for these. These are probably the lowest price ones. I think they're just the original, like one, two, three, and four. I'll sell them as a lot. They usually go for about $20 plus shipping, but some of these out there are worth a ton of money. So when you see them, go ahead and like scan them. They're all gonna have barcodes on the back. Go ahead and scan those with your eBay app. And some I think are actually worth 50 to $100. So that's just a big bowler to be on the lookout for some of these we just dance games. Let's go ahead and thank some people that have sent us some stuff. So thank you so much, Shad and Danny from Idaho. These are some really cool stickers. Again, we'll be sending you stickers immediately. I, we did just check the PO box. We hadn't checked it in a while, so we uh, are a little bit behind, but we are definitely sending these out. And Andre, thank you so much. For, you're from Belgium, and you sent us some really cool postcards and everything. We much appreciate it, and we will send you a sticker international. And then Robert, you said you've already watched 647 bearded thrift machine videos and 102 flip squat videos. I think that's all of them actually. I'm pretty sure you've watched every single video. We much appreciate it. This right here you said is your wife's uh, store. So everybody go check that out for us. And you said no need for a sticker or shirt because you already have it. Also, we want to go ahead and thank some people that bought us some coffees. That is basically where you can tip one of your favorite YouTubers. There is a link down below. We do not promote it a whole bunch, but we do appreciate it when people gift us coffee. So again, thank you so much for AJ, Holly, I believe. And also Chris, y'all bought us a couple coffees. We do appreciate it. Again, link is down below. Now, not a great day thrifting. We made some money. Uh, it was a lot. I think we were in that community for like two to three hours. They started at eight o'clock. I got word that people were in in the community at 6 30 me and dad got there at 7 30 so we were like an hour behind some people and just one of those things that's you can be an hour behind or two hour behind and you still find some really good things because people bring things out late or you get an, an hour late you're you're there 30 minutes early and you're really two hours late so through uh, yard selling is just one of those things timing i still think is everything it's good to be first uh to things but again People bring stuff out later on, so it's just one of those things you do the best you can. It's always good to go out there and yard sale with, you know, family, friends. It's just a really good time, and it's it's a little bit more about just buying stuff and flipping it online. You know, it's about spending time with people, so it is a very and good and meeting cool people. I've actually met at that yard sale. I think I met 10 of y'all out there, so it was great to meet everybody. If you see me, Dad, Kayla out there, or my mom, say hey to us. If you see Willow running down the street, say hi to her, and uh, we really do appreciate it. So if you would, subscribe. Comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always get you on the next one. So dad actually made this light right here through the piping, and he put a little clock here, and then he drilled the holes, and he makes the light out of the uh, the insulator there. The glue would also look cool, but he actually made this. He made it for us, and uh, that's what he does with them. He was gonna get in a lamp building, but uh, it's just, there's a lot going on to make these lamps. So he's only made a couple, but we really like it, and we do appreciate it, so a lot of times I pick them up for him.